What's up, guys, students? Another day, another devotional. It is Friday, May the 8th, and we are glad that you've joined us. I know what you're thinking, Casey. Where are you? That's a great question. I've gotten tired of shooting these videos inside my house and inside my office, and so I decided to get to the highest point that I could get in our church, and I am currently standing above our worship center in the catwalk. If you ever play hide-and-seek in the church, this is the place to come. The only problem is you have to have a key to get here, and I'm not going to give it to you. Students, thank you so much for being a part of our live virtual verge this past week as we had an opportunity to answer the questions that you guys have. I know that as Ryan and I sat down and we talked about these questions and we just prayed through all of this, we love to hear what you guys are thinking. We know that Christianity and, and everything that comes along with this, there, there's some things that we need to know more about. We don't all have the answers, but I think it's cool when we come together collectively to talk about it. And so we were thankful for that. This week, we're gonna to continue to do that again. So submit those questions to us. Again, they are anonymous. We will not tell people that so-and-so asked this question or this question's crazy and what do you think about this person? So don't be afraid of anything like that. Continue to submit those questions to us and we will do our best to answer those on Wednesday night at Virtual Verge. Also, we are continuing in our New Testament reading plan. Today, we are in the book of Acts. We have made it. Acts chapter 1 is where we're starting, and it talks about the promise of the Holy Spirit. And starting in verse 3, it says, As he presented himself alive to them after his suffering, for many proofs, appearing to them during the 40 days, and speaking about the kingdom of God. And then it says this in verse 4, And while staying with them, he ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You heard from me. Verse 5 says this, For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Jesus is telling them that the Holy Spirit is about to come into them and that the Holy Spirit is where they're going to find their power. And so in verse 6 it says this, So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? And he said to them in verse 7, It is not for you to know times or seasons the Father has fixed by his own authority. And I love what verse 8 says, and this is a, a, a very popular verse in the church, but it says this, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And now we ask, what is the purpose of this power and the Holy Spirit that comes upon us? And he says this, he says, you will be my witness. You will be my witness in Jerusalem, in all of Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. He says, you will be my witness at home. But then you will also be my witness beyond the walls of your home, beyond the walls of your city, beyond the walls of your nation. You will be my witness to the ends of the earth. Students, I want to challenge you today. Think about the things that God is doing in your life. What are some things where he has said you were to be my witness in this place, in this thing? How can we continue to do that and be faithful and obedient? Let's pray this morning. God, thank you so much for the ability we have to connect, even if we're 100 feet off the ground. And God, I'm grateful for the ability to do this, but I'm most thankful for the calling that you've placed on our lives. I, I pray that we are faithful. I pray that we have a desire to do what it is that you have for us, and that is to take your gospel message beyond here and take it to the ends of the earth. Lord, I pray that you give us strength. I pray that you give us courage and wisdom. God, we ask these things in your holy name. Amen. Hey, students, thank you so much for joining us today. We cannot wait to see you. Have a great day.